Plenty of people have chimed in in the comments in my Hunter's HD Golds, but the joke's on you. Those lenses provide amazing clarity when you're shooting, and now I have the new hotness from Hunter's HD, and that is the HD Rubies. Are you ready? Stand by. Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David and these are Hunter's HD Rubies. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you'll remember that I reviewed the Hunter's HD Golds and if you're a USPSA or even an IDPA shooter, they're probably no stranger to people roaming around the range wearing yellow lenses. The shtick with the Hunter's HD Golds is that they are photochromatic, so they get darker when the sun gets brighter and they basically maximize the amount of light your eye receives. So you're always getting maximum visual input. Hunter's HD rubies are made for shotgunners, but they also work for people who shoot red dots on their pistols. Now, the Hunter's HD rubies are a similar material to the Hunter's HD golds, but they do sort of skew your perception of colors a good bit more, where reds become very, very, very vivid. However, pretty much all the other colors are gonna have a particularly red tint. You do get used to it after a while once you have been wearing them, but I actually bought these. I went to the USPSA Race Gun Nationals recently and I did the demo a pair of glasses thing and saw Brian there. So I shot the match wearing a pair of these and I got a good feel for what it was. I liked them so much that I actually bought them. That's kind of his sales model. If you see Brian at the match, go say hi. He's got some awesome energy drinks and he has the Hunter's HDs that you can try before you buy. So I bought some new glasses. Now to draw a comparison, I'm gonna to try to color grade a still photo from my recent match video to show you what it's like. So this is approximately what shooting in Hunter's HD looks like. You'll notice that there's a slight yellow tint to everything. It feels like morning sun all day and the contrast, the targets really stand out from the berms. I don't know how well that's coming across in the video, but that's the way it is. Now the rubies do the same thing, but provide even more contrast. Everything is a good bit more red. It's almost like an autumn afternoon sun where it's not super bright, regardless of how bright the sun is. It really filters out a lot of the blue light that you would see otherwise. And the way you know it's blue light is when you take these off, you can see just how much blue light was being blocked from your eye. But the big selling point on the rubies and why you would choose them is they probably contrast the targets to the berms a little bit better if you're in a particularly bright sun area like uh, Texas, perhaps, or the American South. The rubies do a better job as acting like a sunglass, but they do skew the color a little bit more. And I would say that the contrast uh, allowing you to judge depth perception between a target and a berm is a little bit better. And the other thing that I noticed about the rubies is I'm able to turn down my dot one click when I use the Hunter's HDs, but I'm able to turn down my dot two clicks from what I would t traditionally use even on the golds with the rubies. And why that's important is those of you with astigmatism who say that the dot starbursts real big and doesn't clean up and all that kind of stuff, the less amount of light your optic is putting out, the less likely you're going to see the bad starbursting and blooming. With the HD rubies, you can dial your dot down much lower than you would otherwise and it appears very crisp and very clear on the target. It's good for a number of reasons. You're getting better battery life out of your optic, which nobody really cares about, but more important than that is just cleans up the dot. So things like shooting steel or head boxes become easier when you have a sharp, crisp dot. Now the in-view frame fits my large head particularly well. This is actually the most comfortable frame that I've tried of Brian's different glasses. Uh, it has full coverage of my eye, but it does not obscure my peripheral vision. So you can actually wear these as like sunglasses driving in the car. However, it is gonna make everything uh, rose colored. I actually prefer this in most of the lighting situations. So from like morning where there's enough light to fully see everything to almost dusk, I think the rubies actually work better in kind of the Southern climate. However, I did at Nationals one day have to swap into my golds for the last two days and that's because we were shooting after five o'clock in October in Talladega, Alabama. It was just a little bit too dark where uh, I felt like I couldn't see exactly what was going on the stage as well as I needed to. So I switched back to my golds. As far as costs are concerned on these, they are a little bit pricey. If you look at them on the website, they're $375. I think if you go to some of his uh, retailers, they're sold for a little bit less. Probably the best way to get a pair is to actually just go see Brian when you're at a match. So I haven't shot clays with these yet, but the oranges that you see are incredibly much more vivid wearing the HD rubies, red dots pop off. I looked at some fiber optic sites with these on as well and that little red fiber absolutely illuminated 
unlike anything I'd ever seen and I've used the Rudy Project Racing Reds as well. So these things really make things that are red stand off the lens at you. There comes a point when you have committed to going to the range and shooting a lot that you don't need a bunch of guns and you pretty much get on top of your ammo supply. You start looking for other things that make your time at the range nicer. This definitely falls into that category, but it's one of those things like once you experience them that you realize, while well, that's a lot of money, it's kind of worth it. So these are the new HD Rubies. I'm sure you'll be seeing them plenty on my channel. You can check out Brian at huntershdgold.com for both the golds and the rubies. Here's my original video on the Hunters HD Golds, and this is another one YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.